I'm going to teach you how to get monetized on YouTube by showing you a brand new channel that I started one year ago. And in less than six months, five months to be exact, we got that awesome email. Oh, it feels so good saying that we got monetized on YouTube and we're included in the partner program. So if you're interested in that, come on back. Now, before I get started, I just want to say to you, make sure that you stick around to the end, because even though being monetized on YouTube is a fantastic accomplishment, it feels amazing. It's validating. All the hard work has paid off. There's actually a lot better ways to monetize using your YouTube channel. So stick around to the end. I promise you it's going to be worth your while. Okay, so here are the kind of let's get the basics out of the way. What are the eligibility requirements for you to be included and get monetized on YouTube in the partner program? And then I'm going to talk about step by step, very fast, easy, and you're going to be able to implement this. Watch this video over and over again, how you can get those requirements and get monetized in less than six months. So first, you need to follow all of the YouTube channel monetization policies. I highly recommend that you read this right here because it may seem kind of boring and tedious, but it's really important for you to understand what those monetization policies are. You need to live in a country where the YouTube partner program is available. Um, you have to have no active community guideline strikes on your channel. You need to have more than 4,000 valid public watch hours in the last 12 months have at least a thousand subscribers or more and a linked AdSense account. I know what you're thinking, Nez, 4,000 hours, a thousand subscribers. How did you do that in less than six months? I'm gonna show you. This channel that you're watching this video on right now, I started this channel in 2016 and I made a billion and six mistakes. And so th really everything that I've done on this channel, I was able to kind of utilize that and implement all those mistakes and failures, learn from that and apply it towards this new channel that we started last year. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you if you wanna monetize on YouTube in less than six months and get in the partner program is, number one, you need to have a very specific niche, specific channel that really covers one main theme. What are you passionate about? What do you have to offer the marketplace? What solutions can you provide? How can you help people? Is it a cooking channel? Is it an investment channel? Is it a, a gaming channel? Is it a comedy prank entertainment Mr. Beast-esque type of channel? Whatever you're into, whatever you're very, very passionate, just pick one. Too many beginning YouTubers, you do a million things on one channel, you do a variety of different types of videos, that's gonna halt your growth, that's gonna stifle your ability to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, more than anything else that you can do. And so it's really important that you think narrow, the riches are in the niches, even though it's pronounced niche but that doesn't really rhyme with riches. You have to really be specific. So this new channel, we did a very specific one theme, only one type of value proposition for the entire channel. Don't get me wrong, you can do a variety of different types of videos, but it all is cohesively aligned and related to that one overarching theme, whether it's gaming, whether it's cooking, whether it's you, you wanna talk about investment or business or branding or social media marketing or uh, you know a family channel, whatever it is, stick to that one theme. And then you can have different types of videos that align with that theme, but they're different. So you can, you know, absolutely, you know, remain creative and still experiment and do different things, but it should have that underlying kind of messaging and resonance throughout the entire channel. Think of it this way. If you go into a restaurant and the restaurant's name, or let's say in YouTube terms, the title of the restaurant is, you know, Louis uh, uh, Italian Cuisine, what are you going to expect going into Louis Italian Cuisine? Well, if you're like me, you're going to expect pretty good home cooked, you know, maybe um, local grown, uh, real home style cooking Italian food, right? Well, if I go in there and I start seeing Chinese food or Thai food or I start seeing, you know, uh, Cajun food, I'm going to be confused. Like, wait a minute, I came in here thinking Italian food. What? Why am I getting, where did sushi come in? 
It's the same thing with your YouTube channel. The more specific and narrow you are, the more that you have a central theme, the more viewers can really clearly understand and really glom on to your channel, want to subscribe, want to keep watching more, and their expectations are not muddled or confused. Their expectations are, you know, met basically. You're promising on what your channel, your thumbnail, your title, and your videos and your theme is all about. So make sure I made the biggest mistake when I started this channel that you're watching this video on. I did a million and six different types of videos and all I did was stifle my growth. All I did was segment my audience, disconnect my audience. I had multiple audiences for multiple different videos. So the people who were coming in to watch, you know, let's just say video A, they were confused like by video B and the people who were there for video B were confused. Why is he doing video A or video C? You get what I'm saying? Keep it focused, keep it narrow. Keep it niche down as much as possible. You might think that you're pigeonholing yourself. You might think, Nez, if I get more narrow, more specific, aren't I just catering to a small uh, you know, pool of people or pool of viewers? Incorrect. The ironic thing, the almost counterintuitive paradoxical thing is the more specific you are, the larger the reach you will have and the easier it is for YouTube to find viewers for you. This video is going to really, you want to get to, to, to the partner program in less than six months. You need to understand what YouTube wants and what viewers want. YouTube wants to satisfy viewers and viewers want to watch interesting, cool videos that make them feel good and make them feel happy. So if your videos are very specific to these viewers and you make them feel good and feel like they clicked on your th title, they clicked on your thumbnail, they clicked on your video and they got what they wanted, YouTube pays very close attention to that and they will find all of the viewers for you. You don't have to worry about keyword. You don't have to worry about SEO. You don't have to worry about any of that. The better you are at identifying who it is exactly your videos are for, and you go all in on that, YouTube will do all the heavy lifting for you. That's what happened with this new channel. We literally cater to a very subset, specific type of audience and viewer with a specific solo themed niche channel and YouTube did all the heavy lifting for us. We now have three, almost we're nearing it as of this recording, almost 4 million views in one year, y'all. Number two, a lot of people don't talk about this, but if you want to get monetized in six months or less, you have to be consistent. I would say a good number, even though it's different for all niches, it's different for all channels and you should always pay attention to your audience. General rule of thumb, at least four videos a month. You want to try to make them as high quality as possible. You don't want to just post to post for post's sake. That's a lot of post. Um, but you really definitely need to understand that consistency is absolutely imperative for success on YouTube. Active channels, channels that are really putting out the work and putting out high quality videos on a consistent basis, get more attention from viewers, which in turn signals YouTube to push your videos out to the really the largest traffic sources, which is recommended the homepage and suggested recommendations take up over three quarters of the views on YouTube. Search is only a quarter. I'm not saying search is not valid. Don't get me wrong, but the more you understand where the bulk of the views come from, and that's based on audience behavior signals, the better you understand YouTube, the better you get to that uh, YPP partner program and get monetized fast, faster than anybody else. Don't kill yourself. I mean, don't, you know, strain yourself and stress yourself out. If you can only, you know, if you can say, hey, Nez, I'm kind of just starting out. I want to do one or two videos a month. That's fine. But if you post one video every six months, three to four months, you're not going to grow. Consistency is the name of the game. And I'm going to talk about a lot of things. Stick around to the end. I'm going to talk a lot, a lot of ways in which you can really streamline your workflow, your product flow, your video output. So where you don't have to feel like you're, you're, you know, creating a, uh, an epic every single time. And it takes so much time and frustration and energy every time you publish a video. The third thing that is going to absolutely help you get monetized in six months or less after you've discovered a niche and after you've made it all about your audience and after you've put in the time, the work and energy to be consistent, pay very, very close attention 
to your analytics. YouTube is probably one of the best platforms for video creators and content creators and businesses alike because they give you the most in-depth data and analytics to help you understand what's working in your YouTube channel and what's not working, what's working in your business and what's not working. And so really you want to learn how to interpret YouTube analytics and you want to figure out, you want to decide Why is it this video is getting more watch time? Why is it this video, people are watching this video over that other video? The more you understand what your audience is paying attention to and which videos are outperforming the other ones, then you can actually create a very comprehensive strategy moving forward, which just compounds your growth, increases views, increases subscribers, gets to that watch time hour, which gets you monetized fast. That's exactly what we did with our brand new channels. We paid very close attention in the real time views. And, you know, we looked at certain metrics like average view duration, click through rate, watch time, et cetera, trying to figure out what are the top performing videos. I mean, YouTube really shows you all of this in your analytics. Click on your analytics and just spend some time there. I know it seems a little bit kind of overwhelming at first. It it definitely will. It definitely did for us as well. But just sit in there, breathe a little bit, pay close attention. It will all make sense. It's not as complicated as you may think. What videos are people clicking on? What videos are keeping them on the platform? Which ones are they watching the most? Pay attention to those because those are the videos that really identify your audience. YouTube has found your audience. And so the more you understand that in a clear cut manner, then your content strategy moving forward should really emulate or have some kind of resonance with those top performing videos. And if you pay attention to that and you start creating videos aligned with that, that information and that interpretation, your channel is gonna absolutely blow up. So just to recap really, really quickly, number one, okay, you need to be very specific, very, very niche. It's very rare that a variety channel works on YouTube. It's extremely rare, if not, you know, never even happened. Number two, you wanna be consistent. Make sure that you're creating content consistently, have a proactive channel, active channels get pushed by the algorithm. The algorithm pays attention to that. The audience pays attention to that. Most subscribers and most viewers, they like new videos. They like seeing new videos from the channels that they love. And so if you're not posting consistently, they're going to find other channels that are. And then number three, pay attention to your analytics. Interpret them wisely. Figure out What are the top performing? As a matter of fact, when I say interpretation, YouTube really does all the interpreting for you. They will tell you what are the top performing videos and they're getting better and better and they're adding more, you know, subtlety and detail and nuance to studio. It's just helping creators. They're doing a really, really great job of helping creators to make sense of that data with little pop-ups and little, um, you know, messages here and there helping you to understand this is what you need to pay attention to. YouTube literally will tell you what videos, themes, topics, etc. you should be paying attention to if you want to grow, if you want to monetize on this awesome platform. So I told you if you stick around, I'm going to share something with you that's going to take you even deeper. Because look, I know how awesome it feels to be monetized and get that beautiful email and saying, hey, welcome to the partner program. You should Be proud of yourself. It's a pretty amazing accomplishment. Not that many people are in the partner program. There's a ton of creators out there who have under 1,000 subscribers, under 4,000 hours of watch time. So congratulations. But here's the deal. The truth of the matter is that for most of us who are not Mr. Beast and not, you know, these YouTubers getting millions and millions of views a month, even billions uh, in some cases, the, the revenue that comes from YouTube itself just in the partner program Uh, it's kind of nothing. If you want to learn how to really turn your YouTube channel into full-time income, even, you know, an extra 500 to a thousand dollars a month as a part-time YouTuber, I want you to check out this video right here. Go watch this video right now. I'm going to take you in depth exactly how you can truly monetize and not even depend on AdSense. 
I'll see you over there. Go check out this video right now. It's going to take your YouTube channel to the next level. Let's make some real money, real money, not, you know, just AdSense pennies. Let's make real money. Let's turn our YouTube channel into a media company, into a full-time business. Go check it out right now. I'll see you over there.